Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. In this video, I will show you how to make a, a battery with the help of a piece of charcoal. For that, I wrap this charcoal piece with a, a tissue paper. Something like this. Then I pour salt water that I have taken in the spray bottle. Like this spray sufficient amount of salt water so that the charcoal and the tissue paper absorbs it completely. Now, I am going to wrap this uh, tissue paper which is soaked in salt water using a square piece of aluminum foil. I place it here this way. So, I wrap this in this manner. Just see that there should not be any kind of gap left between the tissue paper and the aluminum foil piece while doing the wrapping. Now I press gently in this manner. Now press the aluminum foil with your hand in this manner. And ensure that there is uh, there is uh, no gap left between tissue paper and uh, aluminum foil. Now your charcoal battery is ready. Now let me check this by connecting the battery to a piezo buzzer. The battery that we have made. have a positive terminal and a negative terminal. Here, charcoal itself acts as positive terminal, that is anode, and aluminum foil wrapping acts as negative terminal, that is a cathode. I will connect a, uh, a red wire of this buzzer to the charcoal, and a black wire is connected to the aluminum foil, that is the cathode. Observe, listen to this carefully. The moment I connected this buzzer, it started giving sound. It shows that the battery supplies electric current. Now I'll replace this uh, buzzer with uh, a toy motor. A small uh, a toy motor here mounted on this uh, bottle. I connect the uh, this yellow wire of a motor to the anode and a green wire is connected to the cathode. See what happened when I connect this? The moment I connected it rotates. So the battery could able to power the tiny motor. Now keep it aside. I take a another motor which is mounted on this bottle. This motor is a little larger than the first one. I have connected the ends of motor to a red and a black wire whose ends are connected to crocodile clips. I will connect the cathode of the battery to the black crocodile clip of this uh, motor and the red wire, red crocodile clip is placed on anode. The moment I connected, 
this. This shows a slight jerk. Now I push this gently. Now it uh, rotates continuously. So this uh, charcoal battery can able to power this uh, small motor as well. Now I keep this aside. Now we check the voltage and the current supplied by this charcoal battery with the help of a multimeter. Now before checking the voltage supplied by this charcoal battery, I will set the multimeter to read voltage. Now this multimeter can able to measure voltage up to 2 volt. So I will place the red probe on the charcoal and the black probe is, is placed on uh, aluminum wrapping, aluminum foil wrapping. Now, uh, multimeter reads the voltage. It is around the point 7 volt. So this uh, battery can able to provide a voltage of 0.7 volt. I will measure the current supplied by this battery. For that I take this toy motor. And before measuring the current, I set the multimeter to read the current. Now the multimeter can able to read current up to 200 milliampere. Uh, I take a two coronal clips. I connect them to the motor. Connect a green wire to green coronal clip, and this yellow wire is connected to white coronal clip. I connect this uh, green crocodile clip to the cathode of uh, the battery. Then the red uh, crocodile clip is connected to this uh, black probe. Now only this uh, red probe is left. So I place this on the anode of this uh, charcoal battery. Now, oh, let's see. The moment I connected this charcoal battery in series with the multimeter and the motor, the motor rotates and it reads the current. It is around 21 milliampere. Um, this battery supplies current which is around 21 milliampere. The charcoal that is used here is called as Binko charcoal. It has got a large number of pores, holes in it. It is used to purify water. Here when I pour salt water on this Binko charcoal, it absorbs the salt water and acts as electrolyte. I hope uh, this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.